In this video, we are going to see how we can add GitHub Copilot prompt file and use them in Visual Studio. Usually when you're working in a team, it is a good idea to share the same prompt file among all developers so that they can use the same um, exact prompt to be used in GitHub Copilot. I'm gonna add one prompt file here for my project. This is an open source project. I'm working on it. This is AI deterministic tester. My goal here is just to write some tests for your LLM models. So you can check it out here. Anyway, so here for using the prompt file in the GitHub Copilot, if you see this plus icon here, and then there is a bunch of options that you can use, but for now we are going to use these prompts. So there is um, two options here. One is workspace prompts and MCP prompts. Um, if you are using some specific MCP servers uh, attached to your um, GitHub Copilot, you can also add some constant prompt file for uh, using those MCP server. But here we are going to use workspace as your custom workspace depends on this project. All right. So currently, if I click on the workspace, there is no prompt file added to this project. So if you ask where is the, the path to put those prompt file, actually, if I change my mode to this is the, the solution explorer, and then this icon, you can actually switch between the uh, viewing the file, the actual file in this uh, directory. So this is all of my project file. And then here you can see one .github folder where you can put all of the, the instruction, all of the, um, the configuration related to your project for the GitHub Copilot. Currently, I have added the Copilot instruction for um, this specific project. Usually it is a really good idea to put this instruction to define what is your structure, how GitHub Copilot should suggest the code based on your structure. So many stuff here. So for the prompt file, we need to add a folder called prompts. And then under that prompts, we are going to add a new file the, the format of the name, uh, it should be ending with .prompts.md. So for example, I'm gonna add it uh, as a code review .prompt.md. So this .prompt.md should be actually uh, added to you, all of your prompt file, but the name actually sh coming like this, code review, all right? So, here is the empty file. I have already one written the empty file. I paste it here. So one thing to mention here is you can add um, the mode and description about your prompts. Mode means the way that GitHub Copilot gonna use this uh, prompt file, it should be in the agent mode. Even if you put your, for example, if your um, copilot it is in the ask mode, it will switch automatically based on this mode to the, for example, here to the agent mode. All right. So I'm going to save this one. So the, basically all of these stuff is, uh, let's just put the uh, Unicode here as well. Instruction of the, um, the prompt file we are telling the copilot to check different area of the code. For example, here is code quality and readability, documentation, functionality, like consistency and style. And at the end, after checking all of those criteria, we will ask at the end, just tell us how good it is our code. So code quality, great, good, not good. Right. So at the end, when Copilot reviewed your code, it will tell you, okay, your code is um, how it is. It is good or not good. All right. So I already saved this file. If I go back and select the prompt workspace, 
Now we can see this code review that prompt.md is coming up and it is possible to select, all right? So because it is the, the only one file, if you click here and then click space, it will automatically select that the, um, the code review. So what I'm going to do here is, because it is already attached all of the content of that code review, I'm going to do one simple prompt here. Just let's say do a code uh, review. So you can see here it is attached that prompt file and it is started just checking the code. And then based on the instruction we put in this prompt file, it start doing all of the, uh, the code review for us. So let's see uh, how it is just uh, checking our code. All right, so here we can see that um, the the result is coming up. It all it is checking our code based on all of those criteria uh, we put in that uh, prompt file, and at the end is saying overall rating is good, not great, but good. All right. So if you want to check the the criteria and the uh, the suggestion that it generates let's open the the prompt file we had here um so here we said code quality and readability here you can see uh code quality and readability structure clear fluent pattern correctly applied and uh, based on the the question we we put in the prompt file he tried to answer those questions so you need to um, structure your prompt as well for whatever you want. So here we are doing code review, but you can do anything in the like code generation or any other area you want to put the prompt file. But here you can see all of the, the um, things that we put here. We can see um, how uh, it replies to our uh, questions and then at the end uh, the overall rating is uh, good so suggestion and summary also it is just like saying this is a based on your um, questions it generates some uh, suggestion for us so that's it um, for using the uh, prompt file in the copilot visual studio thank you very much